So, yeah, I love the echo in here. Echo! <laughs> okay, I'm tired for now. Okay, all right, boys, boys. All right, boys. This is my outfit of the day. Oh, I see it right there. Um, this is what I'm wearing. I got this at a little shop in La Mesa. But okay, I'm my makeup today. Okay, Say, say, say congratulations. Oh, yeah. Say congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. congratulations. Say congrats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take this woman, Arlene, to be your lawfully wedded wife. 
I do. Do you promise to love and protect her, to honor and respect her, to keep her in sickness and in health through good times and also through the bad times? Forsaking all others, be faithful to her. Arlene, do you take this man, Eric, to be your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love and protect him, to honor and respect him, to keep him in sickness and in health through good times and also through the bad times, forsaking all others, be faithful to him? You're not about to give to each other certain solid promises. Please hold both hands. And <laughs> okay, Eric, looking at our name, can you please repeat? I, Eric. I, Eric. Take your name. Take your name. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To heaven to fall. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better and for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer and for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. Arlene. I, Arlene. Take you, Eric. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To heaven to fall. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and share. To love and share. And you can something. Oh, Arvel? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you go. <laughs> <laughs> It all started at a party some odd number of years ago in college. I met someone who is a cool cat, super confident, nothing short of cocky. Okay, I mean super sweet above all things. Who would have thought eight years down the line you would become my dream come true, honey, best friend, prince charming, lobster, soulmate, the father of the baby B, and now my husband forever. I knew from the moment you immediately showed care for a stranger not too long ago that you would be someone that I fall deeply in love with, you know, after slowly putting down your strong heart. Thanks for that, by the way. I've witnessed great love multiple times, but I've never been in love until you came along. I'll always remember when you said you wish you could give me your eyes so I could see how beautiful I am. I see it now because of you. You are my mirror. You consistently make me the happiest thing in my life. Okay, thank you for choosing me. I can now believe you had a patient and articulate man so small like you would become speechless. Legitimately and absolutely speechless. I forgot what you say while asking me to marry him. I will cherish the famous, so yes, forever, and tell the story to our kids and grandkids. Repeatedly, again, and again, and again. In the words of friends, our love is based on giving and receiving, as well as having and sharing. And the love that we give and have is shared and received. And through this having and giving and sharing and receiving, we too can share and love and have and receive. With that said, I vow to appreciate, respect, and love you every day of my life. To trust and value your opinions and stand by your actions. To be your partner in all things. To ask for help when I need it and offer help to you always. To go on more adventures and keep first with you. To be faithful and patient, attentive and self-improving. To learn more about me every day. To never stop seeing for you, to you, and with you. Trust me. To have fun, to be with you while well, we share our deepest and most memorable thoughts. To be stubborn, but to be stubborn when it comes to loving you and love you. To comfort you when the Niners lose and drink beer with you when they win, <laughs> if I'm done breastfeeding, of course. <laughs> to be the Chi Chi to your Goku, or to be the Beyonce to your Jay Z. To be your dictionary and thesaurus and spelling gets a little bit too rough. To always listen to what you have to say, even when we don't see eye to eye. And to remember, love is saying, I feel differently, instead of you're wrong, and never go to bed anyway. <laughs> to be the best parts of me that fit perfectly with the best parts of you. I promise you that when times get hard, I will be there to cheer you on. And if that's not enough, I'll be there to carry you. Because whether we finish first place or last place, I'll always be there right beside you. As this ring has no end or beginning, so far my love for you be. As I place it on your finger, I give you all that I am and all that I shall become. So in front of our friends and family, Amy B and I, our new guy, the Kingsman, officially take your hand in marriage and God will love you unconditionally for all of us. Sorry, mine's on the phone, so <laughs> <laughs> just to stay in the whole line of being tech savvy and whatnot, I thought I might as well keep up with this. Okay, so bear with me, I read slowly. Uh, okay. Arlene, I'm not sure what I did in, in this life to earn the opportunity to, to just meet someone like you. 
I remember writing down everything I ever wanted in a life partner, best friend and mother of my kiddos. Someone who is selfless, thoughtful, honest, dependable, fearless, trustworthy, ambitious, independent, understanding, funnier than me, when she tries. Uh, positive energy, has good morals and values, kind of will, and just uh, such a hopeless romantic like me. I've been trying to find that kind of love you see in chick flicks that I grew up watching. And yes, I watched chick flicks as a child, and still do. And I, I used to think something was wrong with me, that love I wanted didn't exist, and maybe I should lower my standards or be more realistic. But then I met you, and I realized that nothing was wrong with me, just real love happened when I stopped chasing it. Saying falling for you unexpectedly is an understatement. Uh, we reconnected nearly eight years later, we lived hundreds of miles away, but both of us were in the right times of our lives. It never been so easy to get along with someone, uh, ever before in my whole life, and I fell in love with you. My only intention was to be your friend, to bring positive vibes when you needed them the most. I saw qualities in you that I had in myself and wanted you to know to not give up, that good people still exist, and to show you that I could be that person for you. I wanted to be your friend, someone you could vent to, never feel judged, and could just be absolutely authentic with. And before I knew it, I fell in love with my friend. I've been on the other side of uh, life before you, and before uh, it wasn't that great, but because that I, of that, I love you and appreciate you more than you ever know. Every morning I wake up and every, and, uh, every night I go to sleep, I truly understand uh, how great I have it, not just in your words, but also in your actions. And uh, one of my favorite quotes is from my favorite movie, Hitch, and uh, it goes like this. So how does it happen, great love? Nobody knows, but what I can tell you is that it happens in the blink of an eye. One moment you're enjoying your life, and the next you're wondering how you ever lived without them. And I truly understand what that means now. Arlene, uh, you are once in a lifetime love, and I'm blessed to have the wisdom to know that. I never say what I don't mean, you know that. So you know you can believe it when I tell you that I will always love you, I'll always take care of you, and protect you from harm. I'll always respect you, your mind, body, and soul, respect your hopes and dreams, and support you and treat you like my queen. Always be a rock when times get tough. And make silly jokes when you need to smile the most. And last but not least, raise an amazing family with you and have the kindest, most honest, hardworking children on this planet and we'll show them the way love should be. Wherever we go, whatever we do, it's amazing to know I get to experience life and all of its adventures with you. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ring is a symbol of your marriage, it's circled with a beginning or end, a symbol of wholeness, perfection, peace, and unity.
Yeah. 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 And if we can, can we switch sides so early? Sorry, love you. Yeah. Yeah. Right there you go. And kiss. Oh, the trees. Oh. Hey, look, you can't get pregnant for a kiss. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Go there, go. Okay, get in there. Please. Please and thank you. Congrats, Erin! Thank you, Tim. Thanks for having me, guys. I won't be able to be joining lunch with you guys. Oh, but thank you so much for coming. You guys have a thank you, great love you. day. Love, love you so much. much. You take care. Bye. Eat a lot. Bye. Oh, a bit too. Oh, okay. I'll see you. I'll see you whenever. Okay, Ingat. Bye, bye. It was nice meeting you guys. Yeah, it was nice meeting you too. Take care, my dad. 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 Take care,